Hey, what's going on guys? The Langbanger here. I have a profile for you. So I just got back from YCS Secaucus, New Jersey. Um, I did play in the main event. I went, what was that? Six or five, three, one. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, so I played all nine rounds uh, on the Saturday. I just missed out from playing on Sunday the last two rounds. So um, if I would have just got another point somewhere, I think that I would have been invited to play. But, um, anyways, I used, uh, ABC Demise. Um, no real particular reason on why I used it. I mean, honestly, like, it was just one of the better decks that I had. I really don't invest in this game too much, as you can tell with, you know, all my other videos, especially lately. Uh, used to own a lot of cards, you know back in the day when I was way more active in this game, but now that, you know, I'm pretty casual at playing, um, you know, I kind of just get stuff randomly here and there, so. Um, so let's just go into the list. Um, this worked very well. So, as I said, I went 5-3-1. Um, the new time rule, um, that was actually a very big factor. Uh, one of my losses, that would have at least been a tie. Um, so... Like, that alone, I would have been able to play the next day. And then, you know, a couple of my wins, maybe those wouldn't have been wins. But then a couple of my losses, you know, may not have been losses. And then, like, my tie maybe wouldn't have been a tie. So, um, that is a very big factor. So, I don't know, um, you know, how huge that's going to be in the future. Um, I think that that's a terrible ruling. But maybe it will end up working out for the better. I mean, we'll see. So I'm going to shut up now. So you have 3A, 3B, 3C. So those are the only monsters I used. I know that typically when you see the stack, people don't go with 3C. But honestly, my mindset, I just wanted to get, you know, a piece, get hanger, and just get stuff rolling, right? Because um, I did see that people would call to the grave, you know, monsters and stuff like that. So like automatically, you know, that shuts off an ABC. So like, I just wanted to make sure that I could potentially get the three ABC pieces if I needed to do it. So on those spells, you have three Union Hang, you have three Terraforming, you have three Carded Demise, two Duality, two Scapegoat, and Reborn. So nothing too crazy there. Um, I kind of wanted to go up to three scapegoat, but I think I'm kind of happy I did that. Um, one of my losses, um, I lost game one and then game two, um, basically I just had to get up in life. You know, it was turn three and like I end phase scapegoated and like time was called and like I just didn't get enough of time to, you know, do some sort of damage. So that was kind of unfortunate. So those were the spells uh, onto the traps. You have three streak, three torrential, three drowning. Uh, you have two heavy storm duster, two storming mirror force, solemn judgment, solemn warning, uh, union scramble, and skill drain. So you can see that this was very stunnish. A uh, bunch of mirror forces, skill drain in the main. Um, of course, all the solemn cards. So um, with demise, you know that's just the play style of the deck. Um, this worked very well. Um, one thing to note, um, I am going to show you my uh, extra deck and side deck. Um, the side deck definitely needs a ton of work. So as I said, I really don't invest in the game. I did pick up a couple of key cards, but, um, you know, there was stuff missing. So there's my goat tokens. Um, I used three Wing Dragon and Raw Spear Mode. That was good. Uh, three Anti-Spell Fragrance. That was good. Three Wiretap. That was my out to evenly match because, you know, with a deck like this, it's crazy. You know, you play Carded Demise, set all your stuff, and then your opponent, once they say, oh, you know, draw phase, standby, main phase, battle phase, and they play evenly, like, your heart just stops. Um, so this was just one of my outlets to it. Um, I also used three Twin Twisters, Imperial Order, Pot of Acquisitiveness, Damn, I'm not even going to try and say that. Um, and then Raigaki. So, <clears throat> normally, if I had evenly matched, they would be in here. Um, that is a definite. Um, 
I was going to side cherries, but I just didn't have room in the extra deck for the targets. I didn't want to use up uh, spots in the extra deck. And uh, with Spell Strikers or Sky Strikers uh, legal, I honestly didn't know a whole lot about it. So it's not like, you know, I was saying like it was a bad deck or anything. I just, I wasn't prepared for it. So as you can see with my uh, side deck. So uh, definitely if you guys want to use this deck and you have more cards available to you or you're willing to spend more definitely use some evenly matches for uh when you go second um and then you know some for sky strikers so it's pretty much all the feedback i can give there and then for my extra deck i did get some cards here because i was using scapegoat um so that was definitely critical uh so you have three abc dragon buster you have borload ceruja Cleefort Genius, Underclock Taker, Two Link Spider, uh, Cerberus, uh, Phoenix, Goblin, Deco Talker, Tornado Dragon, and Diamond Dire Wolf. So that was my extra deck. Uh, surprisingly, I'm trying to think here. I do not think I went to into either Exceed at all. Um, the three ABC Buster. That is definitely a must, in my opinion. Um, I went through that, you know, majority of my rounds. Um, and then in regards to the other links, um, maybe you'd want to use uh, Unicorn for a, another Link 3. Uh, that's up to you. But pretty much everything else, I think, is rather standard. Um, if you have Link Karibo, use that. So um, I did get the Ceruja and Borload because, like, I think that they're absolutely necessary in a deck like this. Um, I mean, even leads really good too, but you know, I just <laughs> kind of stopped myself, uh, at a certain budget. So, uh, that's it guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think and, uh, I will talk to you later. Peace.